It's sad that society has been brainwashed into thinking that going to an Ivy League school is the ultimate goal for achievements, it'll set you up for success in life, when really, I think it's a bunch of hooey. Where you should be striving to attend is the prestigious institute known as Riz Academy. Excuse me, have you seen my girlfriend? She looks like this. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. What you just saw right there is a woman's heart melting as our headmaster at Riz Academy does some brilliant infield work. Enrollment at Riz Academy can help you find success like this, and who doesn't want that? So, I saw Cody Ko watch a couple of videos from this, and I'd never heard of Riz Academy. Most of you know I'm a huge fan of absolutely awful pickup artistry, as it's called, and this is among some of the worst I've seen. The entire TikTok account is just like this. This woman looks like she's fearing for her life when the guy comes up to her. Almost every single video plays out like this. The women are either extremely uncomfortable or downright frightened. He's like a Dementor. He comes up to them and just fucking sucks the soul out of them by trying these pickup lines. Excuse me, are you a typewriter? Hmm? Are you a typewriter? No. Cause you're just my type. Excuse me, are you a typewriter? No. Cause you're just my type. <laughs> He's just this miasma of cringe, this plague of awkwardness that swoops in. His line doesn't even make any sense. Are you a typewriter because you're just my type? Like what in the hell? Like the word type is in the name, sure, but it has nothing to do with being a typewriter or anything to do with that at all. That makes no sense. That's like me saying, hey lady, are you a keyboard? Because you're the key to my heart. Or, or better yet, hey, excuse me, ma'am, are you a PlayStation? Because I want to take you down to the station and play. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Okay, I'm going to have to write you a ticket. Who said you can look this good? And the oh, premise gosh. is, what's your name? Krista. Do you think I can get your phone number? I have a girlfriend. I have a goldfish. Wee woo wee woo. Watch out ladies, Riz patrols out and about. And he almost wrote her a ticket for being too good looking. <laughs> and then, you know, you know how that panned out. Not very well. Uh, also, I have to love his comeback when she mentions that she has a girlfriend. His, his checkmating move is, I have a goldfish. Genius. Hey cutie. Sorry. Hi. Uh, I like your vibe. It's showing like adventurous. Do you know what this is? Uh, like an old telephone number. Yeah, and the only th the only thing it's like it's not working because I don't have your phone number. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you think I can get your phone number? Oh. Oh my. There's a lot to break down here. So he, he comes at her like it's an ambush, <laughs> like he's part of a sting operation, they're, they're busting her. So like, she doesn't even register that this was an attempt to like flirt immediately. So he walks up to her, like a random encounter in an MMO, says, hey cutie, and she's just like, oh, sorry, <laughs> thinking that she had gotten his way or something. So she tries to like dodge him, but then he like swoops back around, he's like, wait a minute, no, 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 I like your vibe. And his use of props is actually extremely commendable. So we saw him with the clipboard when he was uh, RPing his Riz Patrol. Now he's got like an old rotary phone out, which I I don't know who told him that this is a good idea to be like using props and shit, turning into like a thespian troop with trying to get numbers. But what do I know? This guy's the goddamn headmaster of the Riz Academy. He is the one who knocks. So, you know, he's got his old phone. He tells her, hey, look, it doesn't work because your phone number's not in it. It's going to magically fix it. And you can just see the discomfort wash over her entire being. I just don't even see what the end game here is with this strategy. Like, what the fuck do you expect to happen next? Like, oh, okay, I really want to fix that old phone, so I'll give you my phone number so you can input it into the rotary device and we can get it all squared away. It's like, what the, it's like you can't even play along with this. There is nothing you can do here except be uncomfortable. There is no winning move here. The only winning move is not to play. I think you're really cute and I like your vibe. It's showing like adventurous. Hey. The, do you know what this is? Yeah. It's like an old phone. The only thing it's like it's not working because it doesn't have my your phone number in it. <laughs> Heavens to Betsy, just put the rotary phone away. Stop using it. It's not working. It will never work. Get rid of the rotary phone and get it out of your routine. Excuse me. 
Do you watch Stranger Things? Mm -hmm. Um, I was about to say it's like it's the strangest thing because I don't have your phone number. <laughs> do, you, do you know what? Do you know what this is? Oh uh, well, it's a. It's like an old, old phone. Old yeah, phone. it's my phone. Do you think I can get your phone number? Oh, I don't know. Why are you carrying that around? Is that your strategy? <laughs> get rid of the rotary phone. I'm begging you. Take a sledgehammer to it. Vanquish it. Don't do it again. And I am so tired of the lines he uses. It actually is making me upset from the outside looking in here. Do you watch Stranger Things? Because it's the strangest thing, I don't have your phone number. Stop it! Fucking stop it! These are stinkers. Like, I, I could come up with these forever, and none of them are good. Hey, excuse- <coughs> I almost choked on, on that one, it's so bad. Excuse me, ma'am, have you seen James Bond's License to Kill? Yeah? Well, I've got a license to kill that pussy. What's your number? Or, hey, you know my favorite movie is The Mummy? Well, I want to put a baby in you and make you the mommy. <laughs> God, it's fine. Even just saying these makes me feel awful. The point is, these are it's a terrible format for your pickup lines here. Excuse me. Do you watch uh, Stranger Things? Yes. I Because it's the strangest thing that I don't have your phone number. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you want it for real? Yeah. Okay. 5,000 no's, but it only takes one yes to make it all worth it. Buddy's done it. <laughs> Somehow, the Stranger Things line gets him a number. Probably a fake number, but we'll take whatever small W's we can get out here. That's the Riz Academy difference. Um, you don't need Halloween uh, because you're a treat every day. Aw, thank you. <laughs> Do you think I can get your Instagram? Um, I don't have Instagram. Your phone I, number? Mm, probably not. Okay. I'm sorry. Have a good have one. Have a great day, though. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh. That was just a, a true combo of despair. An awful pickup line <laughs> into just some brutally honest, no, you can't have my number. Not even bothering to feign an excuse, just... No, probably can't have my number, but have a good day. Excuse me. If I get bit by a spider, do I become... No, I become Spider-Man. If you bite me, can I be your man? Um, that was a good lie. <laughs> <laughs> Stumbling, bumbling, and fumbling through your own Spider-Man pickup line is... is something special. Uh, hats off to her for being such a trooper, telling, her, telling him that it was a, a good line. Because, God damn it, it was a beautiful line. I like your backpack. Thank you. Do you like water? Nope. No, you don't like water? This is the perfect finale here for the Riz Academy. He goes up to this girl, compliments her backpack as a way of, like, easing in there to his pickup line. Which is, do you like water? The expected answer is yes, and then he's supposed to say, I mean, you like 70% of me. He has a couple of TikToks where he used that line before to moderate success, I'll, I'll say. But he, he chose this girl here who was clearly not in the mood to play this game at all. So she she immediately just shuts that shit down. Do you like water? Nope. And, he, and, the, and the guy picks up on it. At least he didn't like keep pressing. So he's like, okay, I'll pack it up and leave here. So at the very least, this guy doesn't like keep pushing. He just does his line and then lets the cards fall where they may. So I mean, yeah, that's, a, that's the Riz Academy for you, baby. I uh, look forward to your enrollment. That's about it. See ya.